Yo, what's up guys? Shimbu with One Fan Eye here. No? Though I've uh, been very, very busy working on uh, ad- many tournaments. Tapos yung sarili ko ring tournament, Wild Rift Underground. I think it should be not be an excuse na hindi dapat ako nakakapag-upload para sa YouTube, no? Especially para sa mga importanting Wild Rift updates. So, um, I will make sure that I will upload still daily, despite our very, very busy schedule. Pero siguro hindi lang ganun ka-super curated ng quality. But for now, we will go on to the Wild Rift Patch Notes 2.1a. Kaka-release lang ng patch notes na to kahapon. And we'll just have a quick read of them. I'll just give you my initial thoughts. And make sure na itong video na to ay magiging sobrang bilis din. So that, uh, optimize yung panonood nyo ngayon. So, huwag na natin patagalin, no? Uh, ngayon ko palang mababasa itong patch notes na to. Apparently, aminado si Riot na late sila. sa pag-release ng uh, patch. Nagkaroon pala ng mga ano, hotfix, no? Ng mga nakaraang araw. Like, uh, for example, si Lulu, yung mana niya binawasan. Uh, binawasan din yung cooldown ng Wild Group sa early game. Which is, ramdam yung una. Minimal lang to. And even, ano din, no? Oriana. Pero, this is not the hotfix read. We are discussing patch 2.1a, no? Because this is the major update that we have to emphasize. So, darating na si Katarina, Right? And uh, again, even including the skins no, na available. We have Builds Water, Katarina. And that's worn! Katarina, ang ganda nun. Sobra. And uh, ayan, meron ding ano, upcoming event when it comes to Katarina. Wala yata ano, kasamang o kapares na champion si Katarina. It will be a uh, separate release compared to the uh, Rakan and Saya release. Not to mention also yung darating na Pantheon and Diana Leo na release. No? Yung mga Targonian champions natin. Pero, yeah, I think uh, she deserves her own release and her own event din naman. Much like Wukong, no? Parang ganun yung pattern. Parang multiple release, then solo release, then multiple release. So, for the main patch, changes onto the champions. Uh, yung Rangers, focus ni Ash dito ay uh, binaf, no? Pinikli yung cooldown by one second. Um, honestly, sa late game, eto malaking bagay yung four seconds. Pero pagdating sa early game, I'm not so sure if this is enough to actually... Uh, Busters as presents Kasi hindi naman ganun ka super fast pace Ang paglalaro ni Ash And uh, reduction in Rangers focus cooldown Is not really so high But at least it gives pressure on Ash on the lane no? Darius naman um, Decimate return is increased Greatly especially On the ano, ha? Missing out heal By the late game no? 15% to 45% This is big Halos kalahati ng buhay mo Refund pa, uh, para kay Darius Um, dinagdagan ng lalo yung kunat ni Darius All the more na mas winning ka makipaglaban kay Darius Mas mataas din yung trading capacity mo Apprehend slow is na 1.5 seconds Now, ito yung isa sa mga pinakamalaking buff in my opinion 1.5 seconds Halos kalahate ng current duration ng apprehend ay madadagdag sa kanya Especially for that slow And I think that's really good Allowed for more stickiness para kay Darius dito At hindi mo kailangan ka agad ikas yung second skill mo um, Yung crippling strike Baag ka tapos mo mag-apprehend no? Pwede kapag sumingit ng isang auto-attack sa ka pwede mag-crippling strike Really good on Darius Should be enough no on actually have people look on Darius I'm not so sure kung tataas sa tier si Darius dito Ezreal Okay Alam natin may na talaga si Ezreal ngayon Compared to the other champions na ADC Because of the Lulu Because of the other supports ba diba? Alam naman natin na mas okay na yung mga auto-attack based champions Kumpara sa spell weaving champions Dati kay Ezreal, especially with the safety provided for by his Reef, no? But tinasan yung damage niya, same pa rin sa early game. Sa late game talaga kailangan ng buff, which I agree. Uh, plus 10, plus 10, no? Uh, plus 10, then plus 15 sa so may bandang late game, nung uh, Mystic Shot. And, um, oh, ito. I think this is a good buff, pero I'm not so sure if this is enough on Ezreal. I think mas preferable pa rin yung uh, other ADCs. Pero at least, di ba? Taas ng damage niya. Um... Mystic Shot naman eh, hindi naman auto-attacks ni Ezreal eh. Sa late game hustle talaga yung medyo grabe ng auto-attacks ni Ezreal. Lulu! No? Grabe yung nerf kay Lulu. This is enough to actually cripple her and uh, probably drop her by a tier. Siguro kung S+, plus at best baka S na lang si Lulu. Or pwede nga rin maging A+, plus, no? Pero, ayan, uh, base health is reduced. Movement speed is reduced also. Not really much. On the base health, I think tolerable naman to. Minus 40. Hindi naman to isang buong auto-attack halos, no? Even on the early game. Pero you need to be careful on the Lulu pa rin. Uh, kahit naman dati pa, no? Polymorph duration. 125, 1.5. Slight nerf on the whimsy. Pero siguro hindi pa rin grabe. I think uh, okay lang. So, eto, tolerable nerf. Kasi 0.25 seconds lang inalis. One fourth lang halos, no? Or less pa nga. Doon sa current duration ng uh, Wimsy. And I think okay lang yon 
Instead of 4, 2 seconds, medyo magkalapit lang ang 1.75 tsaka 2 seconds. Eh. Kung 0.5 siguro, ayan, mahap din na. Um, help picks, shield duration, yun lang. <laughs> Grabbing nerf. Kinalahate. Oh my God. This is so much of a nerf. I think malaking nerf. <laughs> this is the main nerf. This is the biggest nerf on Lulu. The shield duration at 2.5 seconds. Hindi naman ibig sabihin mahina ka mag Lulu. Pero, hihina ka mag Lulu. Pero, pre-casting, the shield sa champion mo, medyo mahirap, no? Uh, ang laki ng kawalan. Madali mag-expire yung shield. You need to be so snappy on the Lulu, no? And you need to be closer to your uh, ADC or someone you would want to protect. If you want to make the most of your shield. Pero grabe yung nerf sa shield, yeah? Uh, and wild growth cast range Grabe din Mula 8 Ginawang 7 So these are the biggest nerfs Para kay Lulu Help picks plus the wild growth Is this enough to take down Lulu From the top spot? Yes Yes Totally enough Lalo na yung cast range Ng wild growth Cause the shorter the range Of the wild growth Means Lulu uh, Kailangan niya i-compromise Yung position niya And the top champions Right now din sa support Along with Lulu Ay ang katulad ni Alistar Tsaka ni Lebrom So melee champions Would be really good This would actually Help Rakan din A lot No? in getting higher into the ranks of the support position. Basta, ano eh, papakasok si Lulu within the range of those champions eh, dahil pinapaikli yung range ng kanyang wild growth eh. Pero, yeah, uh, still playable, hindi sa super lala, no, para kay Lulu. Miss Fortune, pinahinaan din, no? Base armor, um, health regen, binabaan din. Malaki yung binaba, no? Pati armor, health regen, ang lambot ni Miss Fortune dito. Para sang Irelia na ngayon, Sa sobrang daming nerfs na nilagay sa kanya. 14 at level 15. On the base health regen. Um, love tap. 50%. Okay. Love tap damage of minions. 100% to 50 per. Alright. <laughs> Laking nerf. Malaking nerf kay Miss Fortune. Um, kailangan siguro i-buff ng ibang mga ADCs. Pero, yeah, sobrang laking nerf kay Miss Fortune. Surely, wabagsak si Miss Fortune on by a tier, no? Uh, if not S+, plus, then S siguro. <laughs> laking nerf. Olaf! Okay. Oh naman. Consistent champion. Base armor, 40 to 35. Base AD, 70 to 64. Tolerable nerfs, pero ma mas mahap di pa rin. Undertow. Slow. 30%, 20%. 35, 45, slow duration, 2.5 seconds. Map de na nerf. Um, probably enough also to actually um, lower Olaf's rank then on the tiers, no? Especially on the nerf. Overall, ito, base stats tsaka undertow. Kasi medyo bread and butter stats to tsaka skill ni Olaf, eh. Undertow plus the base stats, no? So important. Yeah, Varus. Uh, Varus here. Piercing arrow cooldown is shortened by 2 seconds. Now, if this is Varus, yeah, compared dun sa, ano, buff kay Ash, I think this is a good buff para kay Varus kasi talagang nai-ignore si Varus ngayon. Although Poke is not the playstyle in the bottom lane, sometimes nilalaro pa ang Ziggs, aid, ang Ziggs bot, ano, no, Dragon Lane kaysa Varus Dragon Lane in uh, competitive. So, this is a really good buff para kay Varus. Piling ko lang kailangan padagdagan ng konti. Konti lang, para lang ma-introduce sa mga players, mapakiramdaman lang, no? Sa akin lang, Piercing arrow, no? Maybe buff the Varus auto attack base na, di ba? Yung ganong klaseng Varus, eh. Pero playstyle kasi talaga ni Varus yung piercing, ano, yung ganito, no? Cooldown lang. Probably a lot of spamability in the lane. If this is on a shorter cooldown, this would allow Varus to get clear, uh, faster clears. And faster cleans means better for any ADC naman. Vayne! Pinahina na si Vayne, di ba? Ngayon, pinalakas ulit. Damage on terrain stun. Alright. Pag nabundol, so, mas rewarding makapag-condemn. Really kind of a useless buff Hindi mo naman minamax out to Honestly Itong condemn So what you get is Parang plus 25 damage lang The more you, you hit that condemn Which is big, big no? Okay lang naman Plus 30 pala Hindi plus 25 um, Kaya nga ang konti na lang ng damage yung Pagdating dun sa later end Parang dun na lang sa early game tinaasan no? So ano may burst comment si ano si condemn no? um, Okay we have final R 190 ngayon 60 seconds So 10 seconds on the final R Piling ko talaga they're keeping Vayne at Vayne Pero this is I think not enough <laughs> Yeah I think this is not enough To uh, really make Vayne uh, Get back into the game uh, in Inaano lang yung early game niya Pinapalakas lang yung early game niya Pero in my opinion Not enough no? So 
probably the most less the least impactful buff or or patch update ngayon ito itong kay Bane parang wala namang ginawa sa kanya masyado plus 30 damage on condemn ewan ko uh, rare do you see i mean condemn is given na kailangan ipatama mo sa terrain pero bihira yung instances no no nothing nothing can be abused here or be capitalized on even yung 10 seconds dun sa final r all right so uh kasi ano eh mana consuming din yung final r eh Ah, uh, saya release. Pero at least during fights okay din. Pwede yang ano, yung final R no. So, pinala kasi saya. Ito maganda to. Ito baka si saya ang maging next ADC right now pamalit kay Miss Fortune. Base damage is higher, which is good. Plus 15 on the damage. Bonus attack speed is also higher, 10%. You also have cooldown here ng blade color, 11%. So, really lots of adjustment. AD ratio is at 0.8%, 0.8 which is good. Feather storm base damage is also good. Higher than 25. Okay, plus 50, 375. So, very, very high on that damage. Okay. Good buff. Probably would land uh, Saya. Depende. Depende sa mangyayaring running meta. Paano orin natin kung ano mangyayari kay Saya dito. Pero, might be enough to really increase her tier, no? Items. Blade of the Ruin King is nerf. Attack damage lowered. Attack speed increase, no? So, hindi siya ganun kaganda sa mga heavy AD scaling na champions. Katulad ng uh, siguro Drake Ben. Baan yung mangyayari? Baka magkaroon na tayo ng priority na talaga sa IE na Draven. Melee is 9%. Current health, physical damage, range is 6%. So, tinaasan pag melee peak from 6%, naging siyang 9%, which is good! Gundo nito, ah! Pwede ka mag -ano, Blade of the Ruin Kings gra kay Fiora. Ganda nito kay Fiora. Oh my God. Pwede rin to kay Jax. Pero ay Pioro, tungo mo 9%. Okay, drain movement speed 3 seconds to 2 seconds. Hindi... Mm, uh, I think malaking nerf, no? One third yung nawala. Pero yeah, that's that's it. That's para sa Blade of the Ruin King. Opinion ko lang, ang ganda niya sa melee, sobra. The attack damage though is lowered so much, so you'd want to consider that. Ibig sabihin, attack speed talaga na kukuha mo sa Blade of the Ruin King. And uh, drain instead of damage. Pero siguro dahil nga, ayan, ano, nag 9% siya. Kaya, ano, 9% is really good. Especially for the late mid game and late game. That mitigates itong reduction na 10 attack, no, dun sa may taas. Leandri Storment. Ability power is nerf heavily. 20, 20, ang laki. Combined cost is... Total cost is same pa rin, no? So, binago lang yata yung sa hunting guys. Binabaan din yung hunting guys na ability power. Then, ginawang... Lower din yung total cost, no? So, ayan, um, binabaan din yung cost niya. Basically, binabaan yung value ng hunting, guys. Uh, parang, Riot is suggesting, sige, piliin mo pa rin yung Leandix Torment. Okay pa rin. But you, you, you don't, you, masyado yata mataas yung EP niya na nagiging siyang first item priority ng mga players. 90, ability power, ang taas eh. Kaya ang ganda piliin ng Leandris, ano, Leandris Torment. Pero there, there's a condition eh, why you'd want Leandris Torment. The, Leandris Torment is designed for so that parang pang dagdag siya dun sa main AP item mo. Not to mention yung, ano eh, yung effect niya yung habol mo eh. Hindi dapat yung AP. So ngayon, nagigis siyang priority ng the AP, especially pinis pa man Leandris Torment ng mga, tulad ng Akali, tulad ng Oriana, ba Even Aurelion Sol, no? So, Ayan, um, I can see many champions are overly benefiting from the power of the Andy system. So, pinababaan nila, no? There's the free-to-play champion rotation, and that should be the footer. So, yeah, overall opinion ko dito sa ating uh, current patch is, it's a pretty balanced patch. Medyo late lang dumating, I would say. Pero um, aminado naman sila doon. I think uh, pinaka-less impactful na, na change would be on the vein. Uh, and malaking bagay yung pagbabago dun sa Blade of the Ruin King. That's what I think. Nerfs, definitely. Olaf, Lulu, and Miss Fortune. Three headliners on the recent uh, metas din na obserbahan natin. I think, malaking bagay yun. Magkaka-turn naman pa naman lalo, no? So, I think, kaabot yata tong patch na to doon sa tournament. And, uh, yeah, tignan natin kung ano magiging impact nun and how the teams will adjust. But, I think, that's it. That's it for now. That is for our patch review or first look on the patch para sa Wild Drift, no? Patch 2.1a. And so exciting, darating na si Katarina Definitely I'd be so excited in trying her out So, yun na muna tayo, ganito muna tayo guys As I'm, again, I'm prioritizing so many other things Pero okay, mag-alala And again, we'll make sure, still daily upload Para sa Wild Rift If you're doing one for an eye Like if you like the video, subscribe to support the channel Let me know in the comment sections what you think about this video At sa mga darating pang video na gusto nyo mapanood dito sa ating channel As always, Slotkin Gamers, mabuhay!